Hi there, and welcome to the follow-up session of the quick look that we had previously on the SOLWORKS Electrical Online Libraries. Previously, we looked at how we can access the libraries. Today, we will look at what we get from those libraries itself. So for today's agenda, we will just take a look at what we stopped at, and then we're going to take a look at what we get from the libraries itself, and I'll do a quick wrap up. So let's take a look at where we left off from the last time. To recap quickly what we did in the previous presentation, let's take a quick look at how we access the online library again. Now within our SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic Library tab, we go on to the Manufacturer Parts Manager and hit the online content icon. This will of course open this new page in our default web browser where we will have a link at the bottom that says SOLIDWORKS Electrical Portal and this would bring us to the login page. You log in with your registered email address, which is what I'm doing here right now, and hit enter. So that was a quick recap of how we get access to the online libraries. Essentially what we need to do is to access the link via the required application, in this case here the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic application. If we haven't already signed up, we sign up and we log in. From there, we move on to the next step. What do we get from the libraries itself after all these clicking here and there and logging in? Well, let's take a look at it right now. Now, upon entering the electrical library or what we call the electrical content portal, you will find a very simple and intuitive interface. From the bottom, you will find a list of the most commonly downloaded manufacturers. There is also a nice quick search function here if you actually know specifically what you are looking for. The rest of the interface is relatively self-explanatory. Now of greatest um, interest to most of us here would be the catalogs and here is where you go to access information for downloads. Now what can you get here? There are several things that you can, of course. You could always go specifically to a particular manufacturer or go down to specific manufacturer's parts currently numbering at 13 million plus and growing. Or you could look for specific 2D symbols. This is where you would download what you need. Now my recommendation, there are heaps of information here. Look for what you need and download them. If you need something else, come back here again to download it. Actually downloading all your components here would probably be quite self-defeating as you will find very often that you only end up using a specific number of items and not everything that gets downloaded. Following that, you can also go on to the ask for content section. Now this is where you request for specific information, be it 2 or 3D items or a catalog piece of information. Enter the required information here and the required details. Submit it to us. Now if you do have additional information, for example reference drawings or PDF files, upload them at this site here. The more information you provide, the easier it would be to have this information incorporated into the library. And last but not least, the share section. As we all know, sharing is caring. So this is one way where we can actually share information and the different types of catalog parts or symbols that we might have created. There are sources here for you to upload and for you to keep track of what you have shared to the community. And in advance, I would say thank you to anyone who's already considering this. So to wrap it all up, this is what we have here, the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Content Portal or what we call the online library. What you get, you get a heap of catalog items, 2D and 3D. You get to ask for content, you get to actually access existing manufacturer part information and of course you get to share any content that you might have created by yourself as well. So to sum up the question of what do I get, essentially you get parts and symbols. You get a catalog with lots and lots of 2 and 3D items and you also get 
the ability to request for additional items the only way the guys behind the online library would know what else to add to the library is if you told them all right so let's just do a quick wrap up on things and the wrap up is very simple essentially what do we do with the online libraries first of course we sign in we get into the libraries via the manufacturer parts manager and from there we download what we need again my recommendation is to download what we need not everything because at the end of the day you will find yourself running out of hard disk space soon and you probably won't need everything anyway request submit requests for what you think is necessary or what you need in your market in your region let the guys behind the libraries know what is needed out there and of course like I said sharing is caring create your own content and upload it share it with the rest of the community you never know who else you're gonna help with the information that you would have uploaded already and that's effectively what you get in a wrap up you download what you need you request for content and you share the content so in summary what we get to do is I strongly recommend starting off by going on to the online libraries itself checking out what's available over there and of course if you need help please contact your local SOLIDWORKS representative if you do not know who that is as usual www.solidworks.com has all the answers and you go under how to buy find a SOLIDWORKS reseller and as always don't forget about mysolidworks.com apart from libraries you get a heap of other resources including training online references that you will find very handy in your day-to-day -day use of your SOLIDWORKS applications. And with that, I thank you for your time. My name is Alex Koch. I'm the Territory Technical Manager for the ANZ. Have a nice day.